It's the third annual emergency athletics course here at Tiger Stadium with LSU playing host with Southern University in attendance as well as the University of Georgia. And Georgia and Southern connected always. That injury to Devon Gales three years ago, the reason for this event today. And Devon back in town, back in Louisiana, speaking at the clinic today. It made me feel like I'm back. Uh, it's kind of different knowing that I've been in Atlanta for a while and then just be around friends and get some seafood in me. <laughs> uh, I enjoy it every time I come back home. The story of Devon Gales reaching athletes everywhere, including recently retired New Orleans Saint Zach Streif, who came to Baton Rouge to show his support. First time meeting him, I told me he has a lot more Instagram followers than I do, so um, no, I told him I wanted to tweet out their, you know, their foundation and the work that they're doing. And but it's always good, you know, one to meet other players and and uh, two to, you know, to meet people that take a approach in life that's uh, special and unique. And uh, you know, he's got a great spirit, and it was very obvious meeting him. And it comes full circle for Lovey Tabron, who was on the field for Devon's injury, and is now a co-coordinator of this clinic. Everyone connected with the committee is very excited and just ready to move forward. Um, I think the hardest thing right now is just slowing all of us down enough to understand that it's here, it's really happening. Devon and his family in high spirits coming off the great news that they finally have plans to build that fully accessible house back in Georgia. Donations still being accepted and for more information on how to donate, head over to buildfordevon.com. Here at Tiger Stadium, I'm Morgan Beard.